Hey guys, Trevor Quigley here today with, and we're back with Stranger Things episode 7. Loving this season so far. I still think I prefer season 1, but this season's starting to kick off now. And I'm looking forward to where it's going to end off. But guys, I just really just want to jump into this one, so make sure to like the video. And subscribe guys, subscribe because I'll be starting season 3 soon. I'd love to have you around during season 3 when I'm sure you're all watching it live. And I want to get it out as quick as possible. But let's get into this. Give me a skill from episode one. I'm ready. Okay. Looks like we're going to have an 11th centric episode. I think it's about time. She's had quite a little, not much screen time. Hello? Or if she has, it's not been doing much. Mate, someone's on edge. Losing things, starting with those pretty little locks of yours, yeah? Come on, X, put down the knife. How did you find her? I saw her. Ah. That's not an answer. Oh, God. Just... Oh, can uh, the other one make illusions and stuff? You're a terrible dancer, Axel. Mate, conjuring illusions, that's powerful. Number eight. Oh, and they've left open all the others as well, candidates. If not been disposed of. Sister. Aww. I guess it's some sort of family. She doesn't really have any. Apart from, obviously, Hopper and Mum, but still. Mum's not exactly the same right now. Hopper's being silly, he can't. Yep. You monsters, you know. Do you I love Hopper, but he is being naive trying to make a deal. Explains why the truck, he thought there was a truck there and crashed into it in the first episode. Wouldn't put me make me surprised than how she escaped. Less to let her go. I think she had a quite easy chance of getting out. I'm not mad at you. I'm so sorry. The fuck? <laughs> not terrifying at all. Fuck no. You would think someone having a power power like this they would have got way more money. This is Daddy, all knew it. All of us. Kali saved us. Here. And here. Don't get all mushy on. <laughs> that was beautiful, man. <laughs> He's the best member by far. And probably she it seems alright, because she's a bit more realistic. You roll over and fight back. We're all fighters here. Fight. Good. The establishment. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's Did killed loads. And they still want to hurt you. Hurt us. We're just making the first move. Yeah, but not, who are the people you're killing now? That's what I need to know more of. I was just like you once. I kept my anger inside that anger. Focus on that. Alright, trying to get some control over the power. I like it. I love how this part is like a superhero story, then you've got the horror aspect of what's going on with people with normal no powers trying to deal with it. Now 
channel it. What am I just thinking of Max? Fucking hell. Dig deeper. Your whole life you've been lied to. Do I have a mother? She's not around anymore. In prison. Hey, don't walk away from me! I really wanted to use both hands, just be satisfied. I'm quite liking this side story, it's quite fun. It's just a bit different from the um, upside down and stuff. Nice little change of pace. I like how they've got a car on my head person though, balances them out. <laughs> Saying that, I got my head out of this insane group. Hey, here we go. Makeover. Dramatic walk. But it's nice if it's actually be free for a change. Like, imagine me. I think people tend to forget when people when. Like when I mentioned, like, I find Hopper more in the wrong, at the end of the day, Elle's been locked in a room for nearly a year. That would send anyone insane. Like, being locked in a room, never leaving, not being allowed to leave, barely leave, being kept me in promise that you're going to be free someday. I love Hopper when everyone keeps saying, oh, they're both in the wrong, but mm -hmm. Hopper locked her in a room for a year. Of course yeah. she's going to go in, like, a, a bit more, I don't know, emotional. How are these guys not loaded? An apple. Egg goes. Why should not be using the power? I promise. Back. <laughs> the fucking purge over here, fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell, he looks like he's just a tank, isn't he? <laughs> You'd be shitting bricks, wouldn't you? You hurt Mama. You could. People could argue he was doing his job, but at the end of the day, you still have a choice, even if it's his job. I just did what he told me to do. It's not a good enough excuse. You have a choice. He said she was sick. You had a choice, Ray. Yep. You chose to follow a man you knew was evil. Wait, wait, wait. I can help. Oh, he dead. Thought he died. He trusted me. I'll take you to him. He's a, he's a dead. Well, get wrecked, mate. Not too quick. He wasn't so generous with your mother. Go full on murderer now. He knows she already killed before. This is a bit different because she's actually purposely doing it. Oh, I knew he was going to have a family and kids. I knew I was gonna, I was going to say that. I was like, but I thought it was because he said the house was empty. No. Just kill him. Please. You don't need Jane to do it. Please. Here we go. No. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I should, I'm like she should be a killer. I understand why she's doing it. It's not the right way to deal with things. Like there's ways to get other ways to get justice. Murdering's not the way, sadly. If you wanted to show mercy, that is your choice. But don't you ever take away mine. Ever. Do you understand? Do you understand? Kids. Does that excuse that man's sins? Will we not also children? Oh, such a great area. What the fuck? You're not real. Oh, she's doing the illusion on her. All this time, and you haven't looked for me. Why? He's using your power on you. Yeah. Come on. I was dead. Or because you were afraid of what you might find. Go away. You have to confront your pain. You have a wound, Eleven. A terrible wound. And it's festering. This isn't prison, Jane. You're always free to return to your policeman. Or stay. 
Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I don't know where to stand on this. It's sort of like... Killing is not the right way to solve it, but these people are sort of in that position of power where they could do all those wrongs and they never get done for it. And we know they've done them. It's not like it's a grey area. It's like I never agree on the kid thing because the greatest serial killers I couldn't have kids and it's just like they deserve to die. <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter if they have kids or not. And I think the cops found them because the cop realised they left. I feel like one of these friends are going to die. Yeah, this cop knew. The cops are pretty effective in the show, nothing mess about. I think someone's going to harden her this season to change her. I like it's just hang I like how they've done what they've done. They've made a hang out with two sets of groups. Like you have the mic and then this one, which is a bit more edgy. I totally forgot they haven't even reunited yet. <laughs> that needs to be sorted at some point. Makes it more interesting though. Just makes that reunion all the more. Oh, they put made him invisible. Ooh, that's clever. I'm guessing they would walk into him there. Yeah. Why did he shoot? That made him ten times more aggressive. Shooting the cops was not a good idea. That made him way more aggressive than it would have been. They would have shot otherwise. Well, they made these characters show up later. My friends, my friends are in danger. This is time for a talk. We gotta go right now. Your mother sent you here for a reason, remember? Ooh, they haven't got long to make a choice. There's nothing for you back there. They cannot save you, Jane. No. But I can save that. Match picking friends over that. My own mum's like standing there. Is that fucking van bulletproof something? Mate. She's a dress character, I look forward to seeing her again. Cheeky shot. Nice little transition there, I can respect that. Until she, sees, until she sees Max hanging out with Mike again and it just starts over. <laughs> Good episode. I like the pacing of that. I like, I like how it changed the pace to a separate storyline. Introduce some characters who are probably going to be important next season or later on in this season. I will explore more about character morals, the sort of grey areas of murdering. I like how they brought up the mic saying she's not a monster. And I like how I'm sort of like on the fence. I'm like, oh, this sort of deserves to die, but it's also not the right thing to do for her, I don't think. And she still doesn't need to be a murderer. And I like that they sort of jumped into that aspect of the character. I'm really looking forward to see where the story goes and how the season's going to end, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Peace.